Well, I have someone who's going to join me. We are going to both sit here while comedians come up. Um, so this comic is coming from Redwood City, and he goes by the name. Uh, he just got here from the Straight Pride, and he's wearing the same outfit he wore at Straight Pride. Please give it up for Jesus. You better work. This is a Does it take? How many licks does it take? We'll have to, well, we'll have to ask the comics on your lineup tonight. Oh, snap. <laughs> We're wearing match, I am ready to manana and explain. Have you been with straight men? Yes. <laughs> we probably That's an easy question. <laughs> we probably wouldn't date if it wasn't for straight men. Uh, We'd be single all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, from what I remember. <laughs> and you, you're asking this beautiful audience, you're like, thank you everyone so much for being here at Mansplaining Comedy, right here at Oasis San Francisco. Yes. Woo, the beautiful Southwest Market neighborhood. Yes. We gotta get them warmed up. Huh? We gotta get them warmed up, not oh, looped up, warmed up. Where's the one with the back? Oh, oh, yes, it's front to us now. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> he looks we like, we wanna see your eyes. I'm like, there's only one eye that I wanna see. <laughs> And it's peach, I bet. <laughs> Maybe with a little brown around it. Hey, thanks so much to our fabulous bartender, Daniel. Daniel, yes, give it up for Daniel. Honey, I was making small talk with Daniel, and I found out that he's a top shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes to sit on top. And we also have, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> give, your, give your seat up on uni, right? Yeah. And Brie also supplying the fabulous beats here. For yes, she's doing her lighting and sound. Yeah, make it clap, straight guy. <laughs> I want to hear it. Yeah, so yeah, these are a few things that we're going to have to do. Whenever a performer comes up, you have to make them feel loved and welcome and warm and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Girl, not for tonight's show. We are know. here to harass his ass. Well, okay, we are we not? <laughs> yes, you've been putting up with it. Well, you know, you were asking this audience, like, what is, what's, like, the worst thing a man has said to you? And, like, for me, it's been nothing, because he's never talking. His mouth is always busy. Oh, no. <laughs> Quite simple. Just so, put something in his mouth. It solves everything. Oh. Let his ass do all the talking, right? He sounds <laughs> sound just like my uncle. Huh? <laughs> oh, that brings back memories. Like, oh, uncle, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> He's having flashbacks. <laughs> I, I, I looked up the definition of mansplaining. It's supposed to be like, of course, you know, like this hetero cisgender male explaining in a condescending way or something along those lines. And I'm like, I thought that was just foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> God, so naive. Uh, well, there you go. You've come a long way. Yeah, I sure have. Hopefully longer. <laughs> <laughs> Not inside. I mean, you've come a long way. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant, too. <laughs> The one thing I typically get from a guy is to be like, oh, I love dating Latino men. And I'm like, eh, done. And then the follow-up is, are you cut or uncut? Those are the openers I get. Yeah. Well, I find that a movie is always more, most enjoyable when it's uncut. <laughs> Spoken and like it's a Jew <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but this is like, I'm getting, I'm, I take it you two are um, together. The Cousins, way. brothers and sisters. <laughs> They're relatives. All three. How did he holler at you? Or did you holler at him for when you were together? When you met up. She started it. She started it. Uh, so she has a strap on, you're saying. Oh. Do you like I to pet? Yeah. Yeah, you got obviously you took the words out of my mouth. I saw that twinkle in his eye. Girl, maybe he'll be taking something out of your mouth later. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you guys been funny. How long have, how long have you guys been dating? Guess. Oh lordy. That's like saying I'll guess that if I can guess how big your dick is. <laughs> you see? Exactly. I want to play Guess the Dick side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not a game. I say a nice seven inches with a warm body. <laughs> like, like kind of warm around the girth, but maybe a little bit of ripple. Do you landscape? Do you landscape? It's a ripple effect. <laughs> There Does he have like a ripply one? A ripply one. Because I'm ready to believe it or not. <laughs> <that mean? laughs> Do you mean like when they pull the foreskin back and it's ripply? Huh? No, Is that what you're referring like, to? It's almost like cripped. <laughs> I think got an I, I think, stick. At this point, I think it needs to be a show and tell. No! No! So, no! Get it out of the way. What's the, get what's the worst that's going to happen? Get up and get you know how many penises we've seen? <laughs> Come on. We've seen more than she has. No, just come. Uh, <laughs> let's see it. Come on. Let's get it over with. Let's break the ice right, before we find out over. your name. <laughs> what is your name? Paulo. 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 Okay. Paulo. 
<laughs> yeah. Follow <laughs> Okta. Ladies, how many of you have seen an Okta penis? Have you seen one? No. Oh, I've never <laughs> seen one. <laughs> oh, you guys, oh, that's great. You've seen one. Are you? Aha! <laughs> You see Paula's dick. No, I mean, you've seen one, but have you done more than see it? Have you ever done a foreskin shot? <laughs> so that's where they take the foreskin, they pull it up, pour alcohol in it, and then you shove it in your mouth. Kisses will be demonstrating. I am so glad I don't drink. I only swallow. <laughs> He takes it anally. Um, so that's good. You guys have seen. So you have never seen a, an uncut penis. Yes. Oh. Uh, are you are you into men? No. Uh, oh. <laughs> that could be the reason. Why. I mean, I guess that's probably a reason why. Are you cut or uncut? You're cut. Uh, you're Catholic. You're Catholic. He's both then. <laughs> <laughs> he's on his knees quite often. Not as on Sundays he's uncut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Parts not down the middle, alrighty. There's only one part down the middle that we care about. Oh. <laughs> you be the judge, that red foil. Which part did that be? Okay, what is this? So we have uh, six male comedians, straight male comedians performing tonight. And one of them will be transformed into a beautiful, fishy woman. <laughs> hey, that wasn't politically correct. Oh. Is she meeting pals? We're not <laughs> We'll see. It's a drag show. It's a good show. <laughs> so we need to figure out which of these men is going to be transformed into drag. Ooh. I think Paulo, Paulo, I think it's only fair that you come up here and select a name. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you have to get a name and select it from the bucket. Get a bucket, Paulo. There you go. What does it say? What is Let me hear you give it up for Marty Honey. Woo!